If you've watched very many of my videos or if you've been with me for very long, one of the things that I tell new homesteaders that they should observe their land for a year before they do anything. And the reason why that you're doing that is you are figuring out what grows and grows wild before you go and start making changes. Now the funny thing about that is that's exactly what I did and I was working on a plan for my homestead during that time and my plans had to change because I found certain things. Uh, I'll link to the story above where I'm talking about that. So like where the orchard was going to be at, I had to change location because um, where all of the dandelions grew was where I was going to put the orchard. And if I put the orchard there, there wouldn't be dandelions. And there were some other things, you know, where I was going to put the garden at had to change, things like that. But even though I waited a year and observed my land through all of the seasons, I had the strangest thing happen. I found two wild plums just about, well, it was the year before I got cancer. So 2019, I found two wild plums on my property and I found this elderberry in bloom right now. And granted, the elderberry, though, the reason why I never noticed it before was because there was a tree that was here that I cut down. And also this massive wild grapevine that I chopped up. It was literally just strung through all the trees through here. You can kind of see this area that I opened up by cutting that tree down. And allowed this area to get sunlight and once I allowed that area to get sunlight it allowed this elderberry which must have just been a, a twiggling back there to thrive and this thing is just every year it just gets bigger and bigger it's probably 12 foot tall you can see all the blooms on it so imagine my surprise this year when I found two more elderberries right behind it. This is the first year they've ever bloomed. Might just be one. For some reason I was thinking there was two, but it might only be one. You can see it right here. It's another wild elderberry. There's the uh, tree that I cut down, by the way. But here's another elderberry. And yeah, it is just one. But I mean, it is full of blooms also. It's actually in not as late a stage of blooming. But it's, it's going to have all kinds of blooms. So I'm, I'm fairly positive I found a second one. There might be actually another one back there farther. I definitely see some honeysuckle back there. I know I found two more and they were in this general area and I found them when I was mushroom hunting and that was several days ago and there's honeysuckle there. There's a lot of honeysuckle back here by the way. More honeysuckle right there. Most of the stuff that's grown back here is actually honeysuckle. Well, maybe it was just these two. Anyways, I wanted to show you something. Elderberry can grow like a tree. See that right there? That's, that's the actual bark. And then it comes up. If you look at the leaves, find a place where I can get to this easy for you to see. Like right here, you will see the leaves are in pairs directly across from each other. Also, the leaves have that sawtooth pattern on the end when they're younger, like these. See how it's got that sawtooth pattern? And then when they get older, they still have it, but the leaves actually get longer and narrower, so it's kind of harder to see. It's more fine-grained. Kind of see there how 
some of the leaves are like short and fat and then some of them are long and skinny but yeah this is elderberry you can tell because there will be five petals and it'll have this little yellow tendril let me get up here to one that's more mature where you can actually see the yellow tendrils real easy so here we go of course now watch me not be able to get it into focus so there we go each one of the flowers is five petals and it has those little yellow tendrils that stick up off of it and that is definitely elderberry so now let me show you what uh, well first let me say something else this will be one of the first things that blooms every year so it's may 10th right now and it probably took it from the time that the bloom heads formed until now it probably took it about a week or two but you'll be able to tell it pretty early okay i've actually got four different kinds of elderberry four different varieties and that's what these are and you can see these kind of grow more like a bush they come up out of the ground if the stems are brown like this that is more than one year old new stems are green like that they have the same leaves grown pairs one right next to each other they have the same sawtooth pattern but the leaves on these are pretty much always that long and skinny you can see pretty much all the way down through here two leaves directly across from each other uh, the stems brown if they're more than a year old they're kind of that reddish they can be a kind of a reddish green if they're more than a year old or if they're less than a year old they can be kind of a reddish green brown if they're more than a year old Did I say it right if they're less than a year old they'll be reddish green red to green green to red somewhere around there <laughs> and if they're more than a year old they'll be brown but these aren't bloomed yet and they won't bloom for probably another month or so I don't even see any uh, fruiting heads starting to form yet but it won't be long it won't be long at all and uh you can kind of see here how there's a lot of sticks coming up this is one plant but it sends up new shoots every year and uh these will only get to be about uh i think the taller ones are around 10 foot tall eight eight to 12 foot tall max so uh but the flowers will look the same they'll be white five petals with the yellow tendrils and that's kind of uh the difference between the two Now, some, some warnings about elderberry. If you run across an elderberry, when the berries are ripe, they're kind of a reddish purple color. If you run across wild elderberry in the woods or on your property, make sure that it's actually elderberry and not pokeberry. A lot of people confuse pokeberry for elderberry, and pokeberry will make you very ill could actually kill you um, the other thing you want to do is realize you can't eat elderberry fruit which is the berries you can't eat them raw contain cyanide you have to cook it so elderberry is good for making like jams and jellies and pies and that sort of thing but you can't just pop elderberries in your mouth and eat them uh, you'll, you'll get very ill very quickly i don't know how much you actually have to consume to poison yourself i'm sure i've read it online somewhere but you know best not to eat even one right <laughs> i'm not going to take risk i don't like to take risk so anyways when these go into flower mode i will bring you out here and show you these and show you they look just like the other ones and uh it looks like it's going to be a good elderberry year for me though Anyways, as always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Also, if you have any comments about elderberries, or if I said anything wrong in this video, let us know down in the comments. Share your experiences. That's kind of what this channel is about. 
is everybody learning from the videos and the content comments that people post it's kind of what i want this channel to be is just a place where people go and share information their experiences things that they tried and worked things they tried and did it didn't work and uh, if i say anything wrong call me out on it keep me honest thanks for watching